bell siphon regulates the flow of water out of the grow bed and controls the ebb and flow cycle. Start with the 4 inch pipe. This pipe is the sleeve that protects the bell siphon and keeps the grow bed media from interfering with the bell siphon action. The final length of this sleeve will be 8 inches, but we suggest that you start with a 2 foot long section, so it will be easier to hold when cutting slits in the side. The slits will allow water to pass through the protective sleeve so it can get to the overflow pipe. Measure 4 inches up from one end of the pipe and draw a line around the pipe. Place a straight edge across the widest diameter of the pipe and make a mark on either side. Measure two inches on either side of the initial marks and draw a line from the bottom of the pipe up to the four inch marker. The distance between these two longer marks will help guide the cutting of the slits. Starting one half inch from the end of the pipe at the initial mark, place dots every half inch up to the 4 inch line. Repeat this process on the opposite side. Place the handsaw on the dot at 1 half inch and start cutting through the pipe. The goal is to cut a slit in the pipe until it reaches the lines that were placed 2 inches from the initial mark. This creates a slit that travels one third the way around the pipe. The chop saw makes this process much easier. Move to the next dot up the pipe and continue this process until you have eight slits on either side of the pipe. This should allow enough water flow through the outer sleeve to enable the bell siphon to work properly. After cutting all the slits, measure and cut the four inch pipe to its final length of eight inches. Find the four inch end cap and drill a one and three eighths inch hole in the center of the cap. Glue the cap on the slitted end of the eight inch outer sleeve pipe. Slide this assembly over the 5 inch tall, 1 inch diameter standpipe drain in the grow bed and push it down as far as possible. Get the 2 inch pipe cap and drill a 1 half inch hole placing the drill bit 3 quarters of an inch from one edge of the cap. Cut three pieces of the 3 8 inch hose, one 6 inch piece, another 1 and a half inches long, and the last one inch. On each end of the one and a half inch hose, push one of the 90 degree barbed fittings. On the other end of one of the barbed fittings, add the six inch hose piece. Attach these fittings to the pipe cap by fitting the one inch piece of hose into the hole drilled on the top of the cap so that it just sticks out on both the inside and the outside. Push the remaining barbed end into the hose in the hole on the top of the cap to create a seal for the air inlet system. Orient the assembly so that the one and a half inch hose connecting the two 90 degree barbed elbows goes across the top of the cap and the six inch hose hangs down on the opposite side. Locate the six inch piece of two inch PVC pipe. Make a line one half inch from one end of the pipe all the way around. Using the electric drill, make 16 to 20 one quarter inch holes below the one half inch line. More holes are beneficial. A drill press also optimizes this process. Place the cap assembly on the top of the six inch pipe to complete the bell siphon. You may want to add a rubber band or Velcro strip around the vertical pipe to secure the down-facing air inlet hose. Place the bell siphon over the standpipe in the grow bed inside of the 4-inch protective sleeve. Because it has no moving parts, once properly fitted, this bell siphon is very reliable and requires almost no maintenance.